<clears throat> now we have the top half of the motor on, uh, the shim gaskets in. Uh, we're going to take and put our hardware back in. We have six screws. Now I'm just going to take and tighten these down by hand. I'm not going to go all the way down. I'm going to kind of crisscross over like you would do on changing a tire so that we have even torque all the way around. Now it's not necessary <clears throat> to have to use a torque wrench, but uh, just kind of by feel when you feel the plate top plate here bottoms out just kind of gently back the screw off just a just a smidge in there about a sixteenth of an inch what that's going to do is just allow us a little bit of play <clears throat> when we put our our bearing in we're going to install that next now using our reassemble dead end bearing assembler that's going to go on the inner race I'm going to tap that down into place again those of you who have tabletop arbor assembly arbor press uh, that's a real good way to do this if you don't you can do it just like I did here with the mallet um, on the top here you can see the uh, rotor assembly is just sticking out maybe about eighth of an inch. Uh, you can go right about that uh, point there and stop. Uh, sometimes you can go just a little bit more. It's not necessary uh, to have this bearing bottom out. Sometimes it'll, it'll get too tight if, if that happens. Now I can still turn this. So we're, we're looking good so far. I'm going to put the vise back in. Put this in the vise. Snug that up. We're going to put our muffler on the muffler side. That doesn't have to be real tight, just enough to catch. Take our air valve. Okay, I can still turn this by hand. And now I'm going to take, instead of using the uh, air gun, I'm just going to do this by hand and just go around and snug up these screws just a little bit. Not, we're not going to go real tight yet. Okay, I can still turn that by hand. Now we're going to apply some air pressure. You can see that the rotor's turning on there, no problem. While that's on, I'm going to go ahead and start to tighten these down a little bit more now. should notice as it gets tighter you get better compression in the sound of the motor you can hear it and now we have that tightened up we know it's running okay We've got a good working motor. Now we're going to take disconnect the air. I'm going to take and put the motor upside down in the vise to do our drive end bearing. Uh, actually, the drive end bearing seal, I'm sorry. Uh, that's this item here. If I 
before we do that, I'm using a lithium grease here. You can use an all-purpose grease, a silicone grease, uh, just to put a little bit, you know, swap some grease around the bottom of that rotor assembly, right above the bearing. And we're going to slide our bearing seal on top of that. And we're going to use our bearing seal pusher. Uh, again, you can press that in with an arbor press. We're going to use the mallet. I'm going to tap that down until it's just about just sticking above, just slightly above the uh, outer housing here. Uh, sometimes if you uh, tap this down too far, it'll bind. Uh, so what I do is I, I leave it just up a little bit like so, so it's uh, sealing around the bearing here. And then I take the same tool and just kind of tap all the way around like this here. And that puts that bearing seal flush with this housing here. Okay, I can still rotate my rotor assembly. We're going to put it back in the vise. We'll hook our airline back up once again. Make sure we're still running good here. end cap on, you should have uh, even more compression once that seals the end. Take our crescent wrench, tighten that down. You can hear the, the motor racing a little bit higher because so we've gained more compression. Motor's running running real well. We've got a real good uh, repair on this motor, and the very final uh, stage of uh, assembly on this is that original split pin that we had backed out. We're going to tap that down back inside like so. Turn it on again. And we've uh, installed our 1002 Spares Kit. If uh, uh, you have trouble sometimes, even if you had the tool kit and you need a little additional help, uh, you can always find more information online at uh, PowerWise.com. Uh, also, if you need to talk with uh, any of us here at PowerWise, you can reach us at 814-833-3715.